Today, everyone is doing social media marketing. So the question I have is, can you make money now? Can you even get clients? Can you get the help that you need? Well, in today's video, we're gonna go all over whether social media marketing or whether starting your agency is oversaturated. So stay tuned, we got a good one for you. All right, welcome back and thank you for joining me. My name is Jordan Steen, also known as Serial Entrepreneur, and people also know me as the social media marketing agency training king. And the reason why is because that's all we do at this channel. Plus, we also talk about personal branding. So if you're interested in learning anything more about social media marketing, digital marketing, starting an agency, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell in the bottom right-hand corner. That way you get updated with all of our future trainings, resources, videos, free giveaways that we do every single week here at my channel. Oh, and P.S., since most of you are probably starting a marketing agency, make sure to stay tuned to to the end of today's video and we'll give you a social media marketing agency checklist plus a free two-week training to help you get your marketing agency started. So is social media marketing oversaturated? Are there just too many people doing it? Well, the answer is a little complicated. The first thing we need to look at is just working in social media marketing in general. This doesn't necessarily mean you're starting an agency. It could just mean that maybe you want to go work for another company running their social media marketing internally, which is still a very viable job option and definitely something that can provide a comfortable lifestyle. So the first thing we want to look at is number one, the aging population. Guys, people in executive positions are getting older and older and the downside to them is really the fact that they aren't as in tune with social media marketing or digital marketing trends as our younger generation is. Thus meaning that we really have a good opportunity, whether it's from joining some other company and running all of their marketing campaigns internally or starting your own marketing agency, you know, there is room for opportunity with regards to just the actual age group of people. The second thing that we want to look at is that most business owners don't actually have the time. And I have this conversation with business owners all the time about how they don't have any time to do anything and they're the ones managing managing all of their marketing efforts and that's why they don't really, you know, get any further. Or they're not really expanding is because they have to spend all their time on that plus running their business. That being said, every business needs someone that's going to be able to manage marketing for them because business owners are realizing more and more how much of a full-time job it really is. It's not something where you can just hire one person who kind of knows about posting on Facebook and they're able to get the job done. So really quick question, since we're talking about it being oversaturated or we're talking about whether you should start, what makes you as an individual or your agency better than others? Okay, I want you to write it in the comments. What makes you stand out or your agency stand out? I want you to write that in the comments Comments, so that way you guys can see some other ways that you could pitch or present your business to other potential businesses. That way you get better closing rates. Another thing I want you to look at is the actual cost. It is so much cheaper to actually hire an agency versus even hiring someone to come and do it internally. And the reason why is because with an internal hire, you have to consider things like vacation pay, 401k, insurance, their salary, any training costs. There's so many different types of costs associated with hiring someone internally that you you don't have to take on if you take on an agency, thus making agencies even more valuable in today's day and age. Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn more about starting a marketing agency or you're just getting started in this whole thing, make sure to check out this video up here, how to start a marketing agency. I promise you this gives you everything you're going to want to need to get started. The next thing I want to look at is whether other <laughs> industries or markets are oversaturated. And the answer here is also no. Just because there's thousands of agencies being opened all the time doesn't mean that there aren't thousands of other businesses being opened. So for example, 5,000 new restaurants open every single year just in the US, meaning just restaurants are growing at a rate of 5,000 new businesses every single year. We're not even considering the other thousands of industries and micro industries that there are out there, right? So there's always more opportunity. The other thing is, guys, that people have been, I, I feel like people look at social media marketing as some kind of pyramid scheme or scam, and I've even he heard people call it that when it's not. It's the same thing as any other traditional marketing agency that has existed since the 50s. If you guys have seen uh, Mad Men, the 
TV show Mad Men. That is all about branding and marketing. That's where it started and it is transformed into what is today digital marketing. So yes, you're going to see a lot more people coming into the digital marketing space, but it's just because they're leaving traditional forms of marketing, which is not a bad thing either. It just means more value is being driven towards people using digital marketing or social media marketing services. So to summarize all of this up, guys, I just have one thing to say. Is social media marketing oversaturated? In no way, shape or form is it oversaturated. Whether you're trying to start an agency or go work with a business as a marketing representative, it is in no way oversaturated. And I wanna tell you guys this, you've probably got this thought in your mind that it is oversaturated because you've seen all the people taking my programs, Ty Lopez's, Billy Jean's, and all these people talking about starting a marketing agency. But what you don't take into consideration is another big factor that most 90% of businesses fail within the first three years because most people aren't cut out to be entrepreneurs and they don't really commit to the process or they don't really understand the knowledge that they're going to need about the product or service that they're trying to sell. Which is another reason why it's not oversaturated because guys, people do not commit to the education. This is why we talk to people about how important it is to take a program like my Digital Marketing School 2.0 or at least some form of program to get the information that they need on how to start a marketing agency. But not only that, what digital marketing Marketing and social media marketing really is and how to really create campaigns. Just because you've seen people do it doesn't really mean that you know what you're doing yourself. So guys, I could go on and on and on and on about a list of things that would tell you guys why social media marketing is not oversaturated. The simple answer though is no. And trust me, I'm in this, I've been in this for the last almost 10 years now, if not 10 years now, and I can tell you right now, marketing agencies are not going anywhere, especially if you are a marketing agency that produces amazing results. It will never be oversaturated. In my opinion, and in, I would say every other expert's opinion, it's never going to be oversaturated because if it was going to be, it would already be oversaturated because again, marketing has been around since forever, right? So that is pretty much it. It is not you need to get started now. Stop making up excuses or thinking of reasons why you shouldn't do it and just start committing to a process. So if you guys are thinking about starting a marketing agency and you still haven't done that yet, you need to check out also this video up here, which is gonna tell you all about how to, how to set it up the right way, how to set it up legally, make sure that you have all of your ducks in a row before you actually get started You know, taking training courses and trying to get clients that you're not gonna make happy and all of these different aspects uh, that go along with running an agency. But that's it for this video, guys. Make sure that since you stayed tuned to the end, you go right below this video and in the description, we have a link for you on how to start a marketing agency plus the checklist and a two week free training. Also make sure to leave a comment Comment below of what you learned in today's video and we'll make sure to pick one lucky winner to win three months for free of our mentorship program. But that's it for me guys on this training. I hope you learned a lot. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment right below and we will see you on the next one. Until then, Serial Entrepreneur out. Bye guys. Ready to start living the six figure work wherever be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.